Welcome, ladies and gents, to Take 72, which is about time management. Uh, why Take 72? I'm very much conflicted about this topic and I keep deviating from it. So here we go in one go. Time management, what this chapter is all about, is difficult for me. On the one hand, I see people struggle with to-do lists that are getting bigger and bigger, with all these goals and plans that never are executed because they don't have time. Um, other people's successes put in their face on social media, like, hey, I'm so successful, so happy, making people very, uh, well, negative related towards time. And that's not necessary. But on the other hand, I also see people overreact and plan every minute of it. I used to be one of these persons, so to say. So there is a bit of a, a conundrum at, at, at work here, where two opposite forces are at play. So what have we done? We have created an overview of several time techniques from which we will start this chapter. But please do realize that time is more than just knowing how to plan it. How, knowing how to plan it, so to say, is, is the quantity of time. So how much, can you get, uh, how much uh, work can you get done in a certain hour, so to say. But also you should focus on the quality of time. So that's another extra level by adding your uniqueness, by adding core values, or by working with more focus in depth and in flow so you can get more done while also being in a perfect state of calmness and focus, so to say. So it's not only about chopping up all these chunks, it is also about integrating your life because eventually when we are talking about time, we're talking about your life. So this is a very important topic. Hence, take number 72. So I will not go for 73. Um, important that after this chapter, we will, um, we will sort of um, tinker a bit with your concept of time. I expect your, your view on how you watch time to gradually change during this chapter. So please keep for yourself crystal clear what you want to get out of this chapter, write it down somewhere, like, hey, this is my goal, and don't get lost in all these beautiful uh, sidetracks that we offer. So keep clear, keep, uh, keep clear on your goal, so to say. But in the end, time management is about how we spend our lives. So it is a state of being that you are in, so to say. Um, if you focus too much on time, you get into a certain state, as well as if you get go fully of the concept in time, you can enter another state. So it's quite an introduction already. Let me uh, do two things. First of all, let me show you the structure overview. So chapter one, Pomodoro, Eisenhower matrix, agile time management, Pareto principles are mainly focused on the quantity of hours and what, what's the type of work that you're going to do into it. Then you've got eat that frog, the time blocking method, so chunking and, and, and those techniques, they are more about um, yeah, productivity. So make sure that you spend your time on the thing that are uh, that you want to do, uh, that you that, that are highest in priority, so to say. But we know all this already. You probably know that these things exist, and you probably know how the concept of of a to-do list level one and prioritizing your to-do list level two. And then you have level three, um, connecting your core values to uh, the, 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 the to-do list, so to say. So core values, your vision, get it into your to-do list. That's sort of level three. Those are the Tony, Tony Robbins, Jim Quick, Robin Sharma and uh, templates. But eventually there is a level beyond that where you become um, aware of not only the time wasters, but also that you see time from different perspectives. Um, the time is nothing more than that it exists in your head. So a concept that can best be explained that a minute in the dentist chair is not the same as a minute watching television. So time is relative. However, we sort of can manage it so let's dive in before I have to take uh, Act 73. I do want to close with this overview. In this overview for you, you see all the months, or sorry, you see all the hours in one month. And this scared the shit out of me in the beginning because 
um, I saw like, oh wow, my time here on this planet is finite. Because you can also do this not only for your month, but also in the amount of weeks per year slash the amount of years in your life, so to say. So you can quantify your time. So you have to make these hours count. You have to make these weeks count. So these overviews, darkness or tragedy creates clarity. They push out, they probably push out like, ah, fear, fearful something. It will probably happen more during this chapter. No worries. Take a breather. You already have more clarity on your goals. Now you will just have to figure out which tools you like most that we're going to offer. And um, as I always say, see my advices like hats. Just try them on and see which one fit. So next one up, Pomodoro technique. I will see you there.